thank you so much ma'am thank you so much ma'am ma'am just uh, i would just like to start with that my, the paper of my title is efficiency of honey in tissue preservation this work has been done under the supervision of dr nirish kumar who is a senior scientific officer at epsil delhi and uh, my guide who is the uh, who's assistant professor at uh, G, uh, gd goenka university dr nihalika shrivastava so i just i would just like to move to the other slide thank you so much ma'am so here as you can see the abstract that the tissue preservation is a very important from the forensic science point of view because it enables a scientist to extract enable quantity of dna from a sample which has been preserved so now we need a a, a tissue which has been preserved well so that we can get a good quantity of dna out of them so for that reason we we actually look for a Uh, you know preservative from which we can get a good dna extraction so that we can get a good dna profiling simple as that so what that is this reason actually formalin has been consider, considered as one of the best preservative it has been considered as the one of the most best fixative and <laughs> this is a term which has been given to fix uh, formalin which is a gold standard for this so our work here present that we have given a uh, good yield of dna from tissues which are preserved in honey that is for a period of 6 months and we have tested over them and for this of course we have got our ethical permission from civil hospital gurgaon they have a committee for this as same and uh, we have taken this permission and we just took a permission from take uh, so, so that we can get some tissues from uh, human tissues of uh, heart lung liver kidney and brain there are five tissues which we have taken for this study and for that we have taken some dna quantification using the power quant system of promega so accordingly we have got uh, we have like uh, gotten to some result so for that we have really got some help from this civil hospital gurgaon for which we are very thankful from the very heart that they have given us the permission to get the tissue samples from there which had been very hard for our study so thank you so much for this can we please move on to the next slide so this is a need for research so as we can see the proper preservation of tissue is of utmost importance for the qualitative and the quantitative analysis of the result so as we can see that it is very important if we want to get a quantitative or the qualitative analysis of the dna for a proper tissue we are already aware that the forensic dna analysis in disaster victim identification in the dvi what uh, is generally known as disaster victim identification is basically an act in which tissues are sampled during the act of dvi operations and which we really require for tissues to sample and And we are not able to get the proper tissue from it, and we can preserve them over the refrigeration, or whatsoever is a, is preferable for us at that moment. So refrigeration cannot be possible at every time. So at that time, we do need for a preservation, in which we can just preserve the sample for that much needed time. Of course, feasible refrigeration is a much needed process, but there are chances when we. Are not able to get that. So at that time, so uh, we do need such a preservation where we can preserve the tissue and we can take them to the lab. So of course, then we can come to sexual assault cases. So of course, sexual assault cases, well preserved tissue samples, they enable the forensic scientists to extract samples which have sufficient quantity of DNA so that paternity testing and DNA can be qualified from there and profiling can be done thereof. It concluded that the paternity of the child the convict so that we can convict the accused based on the scientific evidences only then of course paternity testing that is of no doubt if it is there we can clearly conclude that so can you please come to the next slide review of literature thank you so much ma'am we can see the common literature which are used in the preservatives one of the most common is the formal formula which is used in the saturated solution of Thirty-nine to forty percent of formaldehyde, and formaldehyde is a colorless and odorless gas. Sorry, colorless and chemical gas which has an pungent smell. So that is a very recognizable to anybody who is using among it. That is the reason we we really avoided 
then it has a very low price it is antiseptic sterilization property it has a very good application effect also and it is highly toxic by the systematic poison and of course it is very really well observed by the inhalation so that is the reason that we really want to avoid it because it causes some symptoms like is diarrhea vomiting and some intoxication and it is also a carcinogenic so that is the reason that we really want to avoid this very most commonly used formalin so we are here to go get the alternative for this formalin only so please let's just come to the non formaldehyde solution so as you can see here non formaldehyde solutions are those which are basically a blend of acid they have buffer and they have cross linking agent for example 15% of cross linking agents 85% of acidic buffers and which lies in between 3 to 6% of thp which are tetras hydroxymethyl phosphide sulfate and they can have a solution of buffering acid also so these non formaldehyde solutions are basically non low volatile or we can say they have low volatile and they have same preservation effect as of formaldehyde so of course when you have a alternative formaldehyde so we'll opt for non formaldehyde solution then as you can see in the second which is a ethanol so ethanols are of course easy to use preservatives and they are 70% when they are uh, they are effective as biocides now i have seen many research which suggests that there are many ethanol which suggests that ethanol can be used in different preservations accordingly there are uh, different concentrations of ethanol so 90 to 95% of ethanol have been used as a very effective edt also now we can come to phenoxyethanol so phenoxyethanol is basically treated when phenol is treated with ethanol in the presence of cosmetics so that is all when it is used for the use of preservation now we can come to normal saline so normal saline is a cheap and easy to use and non hazardous substance and it has been used in history for the preservation of fetus and tissue sample now we can come to normal uh, natural substitute and natural substitutes such as honey jaggery or i would say a mixture of both of these so or, or even sugar syrup sugar syrup so these are all used as natural substitute for the preservation of tissue because they are non toxic they do not have any bad effect to the tissue which are already being preserved so these are already very well preserved now the one which is the most laser is the anani latter so this is the recently used reagent which is little to non toxic and this is a non flammable and very expensive solution which is basically an ammonium sulfate solution which is tissue reagent which is mixed in all of this and it is really quite expensive so this is not a very vulnerable choice to everybody who wants to use it for tissue preservation so can i just come to the next slide so here is a methodology what we have adopted we have uh, got the permission from the civil hospital of gurgaon for conducting this research and the legal representative who has given the permission to obtain the tissues from this research they were all uh they all consented consented for a sign for this so in this study we have obtained uh, samples from five organs which were heart love heart lung liver tissue and kidney and we obtained the tissue and after that we preserved them at honey at different concentration that was 30 50 70 and 100 degrees and after that they were mixed with distilled water so basically we wanted to test the concentration of tissues and those different concentrations of honey as we have already conducted the study on different concentration of honey so uh, in this process the dna was isolated using the method which was organic extraction is the very basic method for extraction of dna which was the phenol chloroform and acetyl uh, acyl amyl alcohol concentration then after that the quantification for this it was dna promega quantification kit can you please move on to the next slide so here we can see that the tissues which are sampled during the concentration of honey in figure 2 we can see that tissues which were completely dry during the process of 
organic extraction. This was all conducted in the FSL Delhi. Then figure three, you can see that it shows the samples undergoing mixing in the rotator. Could we please move on to the next slide? So this is a Promega power quant kit which was used in the quantification of the kit. In figure five, we can see that the RT-PCR plate which was filled with wells after the isolation of the tissues which are required. In the next sheet, we can see the result and discussion. So the result revealed that the tissues preserved in formalin at four degree for 60 days, they revealed how <laughs> formalin at four degree for 60 days were, able, were not able to generate the complete profile because of the binding and the, or the inhibition, we are not actually aware of the consequences, but we do mention them that it has been seen that the DNA on the profiling from the formalin has been unsuccessful because of the tissue, the tissue is not preferred over the 60 days. On the other hand, the tissue sample is over the 60 days on four days, and we showed good even yield. So more of the samples were kept over the honey for a long period and they yielded good result. Whereas the tissues which were kept which were kept over low concentrations of honey, they didn't yield good result. So that is what we got over this result. And there were less best best pairs who were compared over that time period. So accordingly, we would yield that. In 80 or 70 or the 50 percent of the honey samples yield a sufficient quantity of DNA, which has been represented by almost all genetic markers of different sizes. Although the yield decrease with the decrease in the yield uh, on the concentration of the yield of honey. So that is all I want to conclude with this result. That with the decrease of the honey, we yielded that the profiling or the quantification of the DNA decrease. That is all about the result that I could conclude from this specific paper. And as you can see the in the conclusion that the considering the carcinogen meets the formalin because it is a carcinogen to both the human and the animal and its efficiency to generate profile. There is a need to find an efficient substitute to it. Of course it is needed. Contrary to formalin honey and different concentration yielded good quantity of DNA which yielded that it can be used to preserve tissue samples under the defined condition. Now, in defined condition, we mean at the condition that we have mentioned in this particular paper only. <laughs> we do not, uh, you know, mention any other condition because this is a particular condition that we have mentioned in this paper that is four degree for a period of six months. So additionally, this uh, honey is an easy to use, of course. It is an easy to use preservative. It is very easily available, of course. It is natural and readily available according to formally. So it can be safely considered to be used in the laboratory for the earlier users. So thank you so much for this. And here are the further references that I would like to mention. Thank you so much for this presentation, ma'am. That is all. Thank you so much. Thank you.